where, where do we go if we if if even if people that are meant to be parents are doing the right things are the ones doing the wrong thing? Where do we go from here? I'm not judging all of them. I'm just saying my own my own my own judgment is focused on the intentional ones, the ones that intentionally want to be what either deadbeat that or intentional baby mamas. I have no problems with accidental ones like the rape, the whatever excusable ones. I'm fine. I don't have a problem with them. But it's the ones that want to use it to, as a lay as a as a claim to fame, or that's from the woman's side. Like, then the irresponsible men that just in fact in the scriptures, the scriptures actually say if you're a man and you have kids and you're not taking care of them, you are worse than an infidel. Don't take care of your kids, you are worse than an infidel. So this is not me being judgmental, it's already been written. You don't even need the scriptures to tell you to take care of your kids. You don't need credit for taking care of your kids. Okay, okay. Um before we Um, Ron, I think I've waited on for more than enough. Can you please explain to us why you chose this topic and what okay. is your understanding of it? Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for throwing me under the bus. I really <laughs> <have to. laughs> So, because they massacred you somewhere else, where you thought it was... Uh, no, they uh, didn't massacre me. Massacre me. They uh, okay. okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> they're not rich <laughs> it's, incidentally you doing a disclaimer let me even do another disclaimer you know apparently after our last show uh, mm -hmm. uh, after our last uh, episode that's the one we did last week oh my goodness the feedbacks I got especially from my friends it's almost as if they were calling me a sellout like uh, I, I'd become politically correct blah blah uh -huh. blah I, I, in fact, and I thought I was being traditional the whole time. <laughs> you were being traditional the whole time. What did they want you to do? I, they I, wanted I, you to become a Neanderthal altogether. You no, know, maybe it's the way I sound in real life. And see, listen, yeah, I am still me. I've not changed. I'm always going to be me. But the thing is this. Oh, so you're a Neanderthal, basically. That's what you're saying. Because you're already traditional. Any more traditional than that, you'll be a caveman dragging his hands on the ground with a club. <laughs> well, well, I still have my principles. I still have my principles intact. Everything is fine. It's just that we're reaching, we're reaching a wider audience and we're trying to get everybody on board. We are not trying. Yeah, I don't to... understand though. I'm still explaining now. Okay. We're not, uh, we're not trying to muscle anybody into any belief. The thing is, everybody will have a say. You come with your own ideology. I come with mine. We all try to reason. That's what's going to make the whole show fun. There's no need for me to drum in my opinions. Like, in fact, I to some extent, when I watch these clips again, I feel like actually drum in my opinions. Really? I actually feel what like. Do that. What more do they want? What more do they want? I don't know. I just think. I'll just have to go. <laughs> ah. Anyway, well, that's out of the way. It's still be I've not changed. So we'll go to the topic, the topic for today. This, uh, what creates these deadbeat fathers and baby mama. Actually, there was a, there was a way I coined the topic before Abby washed the hands off. I mean, too. So when I don't apply, when well, I apply. too confrontation now. Uh, well, Okay, let me start by this. Being a deadbeat, uh, either of the scenarios are morally not acceptable. Okay? However, there are extenuating circumstances that might lead to certain issues. For instance, when do, who do I start with now? Do I start with the guys or the ladies? Okay, ladies. Start first. with your, your gender, I beg. Okay, for instance, most guys who turn out to be deadbeat, I'm not justifying their excuses, though. It's just sometimes we just say it as it is. 
some men are just not mature enough to be parents. And, you know, thank God I'm not God. Thank God I'm not God. There are some people that, not, that have no business in reproducing or replicating themselves. They, they just don't have, they are not even meant to be in that line of thought, or, you know. And uh, we have some who maybe started it, started out well, maybe due to frustration or maybe, I don't know, uh, too much exuberance, they're going to drug, drug addiction or any other form of gambling or something like that, if, or alcoholism. Then you find, yeah, which is also an addiction, then you find that they struggle to take care of themselves, uh, let alone taking care of uh, their offsprings. Then we also have people who just meet, like a man meeting a lady at a party. You don't know her before. Both of you get drunk or high. Then you just go and impregnate the lady. Then you wake up. You said, oh, I didn't sign up for this. Uh, I'm not ready for all this nonsense. Then willingly and intentionally abandon. I, you know what's funny, Abby? These kids mm. that are born like that, like you, uh, these kids that are born, uh, like how do they call what are those unintentional kids? Those kids always end up looking like their fathers, whether it's a boy or a girl. Have you ever noticed it? I don't know too many, but yeah, maybe that would be that would be true. Most cases they end up resembling their fathers. So just to shut that issue of uh, let's do DNA, when you see the child, okay, this is my child and all that. So that's from the men's uh, perspective. Then the women's perspective, the first, okay, let me first extenuate by saying, sometimes women get pregnant through rape. Exactly. Very possible. Through rape. In that, in that kind of scenario, we really need to sympathize with such a person or empathize with such a person because one, to be, being raped is an issue. Then secondly, on top of that, she has to come and raise the child to be reminding her of what's happened or how the child came about. Such women, well, God be with God bless you, God bless you, or God be with you. Uh, it's it those those deserve my sympathy. Then we have widows too. No, are widows really baby mamas? No, they don't. Well, they're, they're single mothers because baby mamas are usually classed as single mothers too. Let's not mix it up. Uh, widows are not baby mamas, so let's not mix it up. Then we but have if, if, if widows are baby mamas, then Mrs. Ido is a baby mama. <laughs> what are you saying? What, what, is that? what, what, did, what did we agree on before we came on live? What 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 was the last thing we just we spoke about? What was I'm the last sorry, thing? I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I mean, you're going to get me in trouble one of these days. <laughs> 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 so, I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't resist it. It was, it was there. It was lying down there. There was no way I could walk past it. I had to, to go and talk to it now. <laughs> Please, everybody, let's pretend like we didn't hear it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, um, okay, now we've talked about, um, uh, uh, rape then they are all the, now let's go to the real baby mamas but this is the thing before you continue ron you do know that there are many women who will be mothers through that aspect maybe rape but they will never tell anyone that they were raped because it's not something you can broadcast because of the stigma so they will just be lumped into that oh useless women that kind of thing that's meanwhile that's, that's why i said such women they deserve sympathy because... It but how do you differentiate them from the ones that don't deserve sympathy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is where the Wahala comes in. That's the problem. Happy uh, now, year. I, Yay! <laughs> and the reason why I'm pointing it out is that so that we don't lump them all up together. Rape victims should be should be really... Hey, hello, Abby. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Well, let me clap hey. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we don't want to lump those ones in, you know. So that's why I'm very tactical about rape victims. That's what I'm saying. So how do you separate them when 
they that will not a... come out to say that they've been raped because it's unfortunately yeah. especially in yeah. nigeria it is not a country that has any sympathies towards anyone who's suffered rape so when a woman can't even come out and say this is what's happened to me so she will just so basically i think and i'll let you continue but i think that that thing of oh baby mamas oh they're you know, that has to stop that judgment or because we don't know what created the baby mama situation i'll, I'll tell you who the real i'll tell you who the real culprits are and the people causing the problem now the okay. issue is we have a new trend and I, I i wanted to call it a syndrome before but you said that we have a new trend of young ladies trying to hook hook successful now, I'm using the word successful because it might either be fame or wealth. So let's use the general term, successful men, by using pregnancy. I'll give you an example. Okay, I don't want to call names, but you uh, you get the general idea. You see a celebrity, you don't know the celebrity from Adam, it's just popular, and you have this one nice son, and you go out of your way, like, oh, okay, this thing must happen, and I must keep this pregnancy. And in most cases... The guy is always like, hey, madam, I'm not I'm not ready for all this. Now it's a two-way thing because one, most girls will tell you that ah, I'm not going to do an abortion because I don't want to take the risk and damage my uh reproductive organs and not being able to have kids in future because I want to abort this uh, celebrity's child. So for that reason, they keep the child. Then there are those that now, now, there are those that intentionally, from the onset, that is their plan and that is what they want to do as they brag about it on social media. Because I, up to when I grew up, I never knew that a time will come in this time and age where baby's mama, baby mamas will come out and start bragging that, ah, this is who I am, this is what I did, and this is where I am now. I'm like... You have not seen no, but okay. You are not paying attention, that's the problem. You're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. There was a time last year. Was it last year? There was a time last year. Somebody actually came out and lied against the video. They, these two girls, they, they actually recorded a video, posted it on social media. I actually believe that was when I used to waste my time watching rubbish on the internet. But I actually believed what I saw that they, they she actually slept with the video, blah, blah, blah. And later on, it turned out that it was a lie and all that. But after that incident, they were all there. Or they don't want to keep remembering but, and calling it. But doesn't David don't know the people he slept with? Who? Celebrity. And, no, but it's, it's like me. I just wake up one morning and just go, I slept with David Doe from where to where now? <laughs> a celebrity. Are you pretending like you don't know their lifestyles? No, they but... They meet different women, different cities, different area codes, different everywhere you know it is their life that's the life of the road that's the life of the road it didn't start today it's been going on before our time it didn't start but today. that they won't know who they slept with yeah no i'm you, just asking no i'm even telling you the people there are people that are not even one tenth as popular as david even doing worse than david okay sorry i'm even accusing the david do you tell us that us what that what is alleged that he's doing David, yeah, my heart is not inside, <laughs> I said there are people who live that kind of rough lifestyle. Do you, do you understand? But what I'm saying in essence is that there's an there's a consequence and implication for all these things I've enumerated. Because these things produce kids. These actions produce children. Children by default are meant to be raised in a stable environment. When people go out of their way to destabilize this order and do what they feel like doing, oh, okay, sorry, I missed one more point. I was my brain was racing. Yeah, they spam back people, the people that will just wake up one day, I hate guys, and they just go to spam bank and impregnate themselves, and they have to. Yeah. Yes, now you don't know. So, anyone who uses a spam bank does it because they hate men. I'm, oh. 
No, I'm asking you. I'm only reiterating your statement so that I'm sure that I heard you right. Abby, so, Abby, Abby, you're just being disingenuous. You know what I mean. Stop. I'm not being disingenuous. Stop, 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 okay, no vex. I don't, I wanted to be clear, but let's be quiet. People, I know women who do it. At least I've not like okay. three so far who just went to sperm bank, got themselves pregnant, and they have the kids. No attachment to any man. The kid does not know the father, nothing. And life is normal for them. So what I'm saying in essence is because, it's because of the society as we find ourselves today. Uh, the society is not what it used to be. And I would have wished that with the kind of information, technology, knowledge we have now, that uh, maybe we would have had a saner environment. But things get worse. Kids are getting worse. You know, uh, crime rates are skyrocketing. Unthinkable things that this they were unthinkable during our time, during our time, is now normal now. And there's nothing anybody. Yes, there's nothing any. And the level of discipline that was administered, corporal discipline, was administered back then, is no longer possible now because some governments don't allow you to hit your kids. It's not allowed. You understand? So. Where do we go if we if if even if people that are meant to be parents are doing the right things are the ones doing the wrong thing? Where do we go from here? I'm not judging all of them. I'm just saying my own and my own my own judgment is focused on the intentional ones, the ones that intentionally want to be what either deadbeat that or intentional baby mamas. I have no problems with accidental ones like the rape the. Whatever excusable ones, I'm fine. I don't have a problem with them. But it's the ones that want to use it to, as a lay, as a as a claim to fame, or that's from the woman's side. Right? Then the irresponsible men that just. In fact, in the scriptures, the scriptures actually say, if you're a man and you have kids and you're not taking care of them, you are worse than an infidel. Don't take care of your kids. You are worse than an infidel. So this is not me being judgmental. It's already been written. You don't even need the scriptures to tell you to take care of your kids. You don't need credit to take care of your kids. Okay.